Wearing a mask in public can help slow the transmission of COVID-19. And the CDC recommends that we do wear a mask when we are grocery shopping, picking up meds at the pharmacy, or any other time that we're in public. But many people, while wearing their masks, are wearing them wrong, making them less effective protection for you. In this video, I'm gonna go over the wrong way as well as the right way to wear a mask. My name is Diana, and when I'm not doing YouTube videos or being a mom, I'm a physician assistant, and I'm always amazed how often I see people wearing masks incorrectly, even people who work in the healthcare system. So today, I wanna to talk to you about how to properly wear a mask. But first, if you're new to our channel, we are all about cleaning, organizing, and disinfecting, and anything else that helps make your life easier. So if you're new to our channel, hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Now let's dive in and talk about masks. Now you might have a surgical mask, you might have a fabric mask, you might have an N95, or even just a bandana. But whatever you have, there are things that you could be doing to make it less effective. Let's first talk about how to put on a mask. You wanna wash your hands first. Now washing your hands is always better, but for the sake of the ease of this video, I'm just gonna use hand sanitizer, which you can use if you don't have access to soap and water. Don't touch the parts of your mask that covers your face. Just touch the ties. Consider these ties or elastics like the handles for your mask. Now, if you have a surgical mask, you wanna make sure that the right side is facing out and you wanna loop around the ears of the masks or if you have ties, do the ties behind your head and then you wanna pull the bottom part down below your chin and then the top part up above or right at the bridge of your nose. If it is a manufactured face mask, there's gonna be a little wire at the top here and what you wanna do is you wanna pinch that so that it fits snug right at the bridge of your nose and then you don't wanna to touch anything else around this part of the mask. If it's a fabric mask, just make sure it's comfortable and snug over the bridge of your nose. Do not wear the mask so that the top of the mask sits under your nose. Do not wear your mask so that the bottom of the mask sits above your chin. And don't casually pull one ear loop off like this and let it dangle so that you can talk. Also, don't pull the mask down like this so that you can talk more openly. And especially don't grab with your hands anything in this area. To take off your mask, first wash your hands. Again, I'm gonna use hand sanitizer, but soap and water is better. Then you wanna grab ear loops or untie the back if that's what you have and take it off that way. Avoid touching the part of the mask that covers the face. Now, I'm actually not gonna throw this away. I'm gonna reuse this, and I'm gonna do a video later that talks about what you can do to safely reuse a mask, but we're not gonna talk about that today. What I do wanna talk about is something called cross-contamination, and I'm gonna do a demonstration. In order to do this, I'm gonna pretend like this coffee filter is a mask. Why? Well, because there is a nationwide shortage and I don't wanna waste a perfectly good mask. So I'm just gonna stick this to my face here. I know it looks kinda of silly, but you get the general idea. So let's say you're out shopping for groceries and you have your mask on and let's even say that you're wearing gloves. And then let's say you pick up something that has coronavirus on it. This bright red represents the coronavirus. And let's say you're walking around and you run into a friend carefully staying six feet away, you stop to talk, but your mask is annoying you, so you pull it down so you can chat with her easier. Now, look what you've done. Now you've got an increased amount of coronavirus right there on top of your mask. And to make matters even worse, let's say it's down here like this, and then you wanna itch your nose or something. And immediately, you've got corona right in the areas that like to enter into your body and get you infected. This is called cross-contamination. Now, just a minute so I can wash my face. Let's say now that you've actually walked by somebody who has corona and you've breathed it in, but you're wearing your mask and so you've got a lot of corona right here on your face, which the mask is doing what it's supposed to do, which is protect you. Then, again, you come across somebody and you wanna to talk to them or it's bugging you or something like that. And then you grab the front of your face mask and pull it down or pull it off. I think I probably have red on me, right? Again, you've got corona on your hand or on your glove from your mask, cross-contamination. And then let's say that somebody calls and you pick up your cell phone, here's just my case, and you touch your cell phone and you're dialing and talking on the phone. And then what if you put it up to your face? Again, and you're talking like this, bam, 
Even with wearing a mask, even with wearing gloves, you can still have cross-contamination and get the virus in places that you don't want to. So what you wanna do is be ever aware of what you've touched, where germs might be, and where you could spread them to. So I'm gonna wash my face one more time. Just a sec. Okay guys, so the bottom line is when you put on a mask, put it on properly, just the way I showed you, and then leave it alone. Wash your hands often and don't touch your face. And also, wash your hands often. Wait, did I already say that? Oh yes, I did! That's because it's so important to help prevent the spread of infection is to wash your hands often. But I do wanna thank you for watching this video and listen, if it was informative for you, share it with your friends and family, believe me. I was at Walmart three days ago doing grocery curbside pickup and I saw plenty of people wearing masks incorrectly. People need to see this video to help them to know how to wear a mask correctly to help them stay safe. Also remember to pin this video and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching and everybody stay safe, stay healthy, bye.